Sometimes my heart's running kinda empty These days my mind's feeling kinda heavy Don't lie, I know you feel it too I will What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. I'm here in the usual spot before my gym sessions, the beautiful and classy toilets in the SU because the gym is right upstairs. I'm ready to go in. The Kiwis have been bought. I am ready for the challenge. I'm, I have no idea how well it's gonna go. We'll find out, but stay tuned for that a little bit later. First, it is leg day. I've got to convince Jake that it is leg day because you know how much he hates training legs. I'm sorry, Jake. I have to name you and shame you, but it is leg day, mate. I'm gonna convince you. Let's get this done. How's it going guys? It's been a long time since I've done a commentary and I thought, considering the topic of today's video is the Kiwi Challenge, created by the king of all science videos himself, Jeff Nippard, and he does a lot of commentaries, especially when he does his sciencey videos. I thought, what better time to do it than now? So this isn't going to be too science based, if you want that then you can head over to Jeff's channel, it will be linked in the description box. This is just going to be me more talking through the workout, it's part of my new routine, part of the 5 day split, and this is lower day B, so the second one of the week. I wanted to point out uh, the front squats, I've only been doing this for a few weeks, right at the end of summer, I tried it once or twice with Cam the Cameraman, but I only properly started it when I started this program, so a couple of weeks ago now. As you can see, I take my time setting up and I still use belly anyway. I only went up to three sets of eight on 65 kilos and still in my eyes perfecting the form whilst gradually implementing that progressive overload. This was followed up with some stiff legged deadlifts, again I'm beginning to increase the weight after perfecting the form and uh, keeping my heels nice and solid on the ground. Next up was uh, something which I hate, uh, lunges. I, I love training legs, right? it's one of my favourite days but I absolutely hate lunges with a passion. I just find them so freaking painful which is exactly why I'm doing them. So hopefully my body will just get used to them and then see sort of some kind of newbie gains from that in the future. Even if it does mean right now using baby weights in each hand. This was then followed up with all the isolations, usual leg curl, leg extension, calf raises. Uh, the university gym doesn't actually have a specific machine for calves, or not one that's any good anyway, so I love to use a leg press. So your feet can go past 90 degrees and get the full range of movement, which is essential for any muscle group, but especially calves. You've you got to hit your calves. Last up was something I'm trying to do a lot more of, and that's abs. Starting up, uh, starting with some hanging ab raises, minimum of 10 for three sets, followed up with uh, seated medicine ball twists, trying to keep my feet as still as possible, which proved very, very difficult, but I am getting better. Lastly was mountain climbers, and burst of 30 seconds as many as you can, and I'll tell you what, that fucking finished me off. So that's the end of the workout, and that's going to conclude the commentary, guys. If you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a like, and enjoy the rest of the video, and back to the vlog. Now. I can't chase it up to feelings to a place I used to know. I need something to believe in. Baby, I just want to go. Just today and then following the rest uh, in the seminar. Um, wow. so it's going to be on the morning time to listen to the hunt. Hello, lad. Being a good student. Well, yeah, in the last vlog, you see me check out my first book. It's my first printed paper. <laughs> I do uni. Third year. <laughs> Where the love goes 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 Thank you Long, long, long day. We'll talk inside. Hello? Right, okay, so basically everything this morning and everything, to be, to be honest, over the last couple of days has been a mad rush. I've had a lot of stuff to do and it's been a lot, it's been difficult for me to actually vlog it and so I didn't even get a chance to vlog this morning near the walk I normally do to uni where there was first there was six people then there was three and then there was two not not because people are not bothered to go but because their timetables change but 9am on a Tuesday is pretty much always my my kind of stable you can pretty much guarantee that I'll be there or have to be there one way or another but instead of turning today's video into something really negative about how long or whatever the day was I chose to stay even longer and go to the gym and so 
that was kind of and it always is my responsibility and everything like that but I wanted to just quickly mention, I know that he'll probably be watching now, but I ran into someone at City SU on the night out, and if you follow my Instagram, you'll know that pretty much every single Saturday we go to the SU for the night out, and someone, I've known him for a little while, but kind of, we never really keep in touch, and he came up to me and said, oh, I'll watch the channel, it's great, and everything like this, and he went off for a little while, and then about 20 minutes later, he came back and said, Liam, I just thought you should know, I lost two stone watching your videos, and... And, and I was just, I was gobsmacked. I genuinely, genuinely nearly broke down into tears. I was so happy just because even on such a small level, like there's only a few hundred people on this, on this channel, there's only a few hundred subscribers, but just that you can have that positive impact on someone's life just by putting out motivational content, informational content, you can make such a difference and it's, it's absolutely crazy and it made my night. So if you are watching this, then thank you so much for coming up to me, Ben. And hopefully we'll talk soon. But I need to cut up the kiwis now because it's time to do the challenge. Okay, a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm doing this challenge. Um, and the reason is, to be honest, I don't really know because I don't like kiwis. Um, but I watched, <laughs> I watched um, Jeff Nippar's video and Brandon's video as well. And I thought, you know what? I like doing challenges. If you see my 10k challenge, I've done that. I've not done anything else since, and that was about four or five months ago now. So I wanted to try something a little bit different, and with the whole, with Jeff making the whole kiwi superfood thing, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give kiwis a second chance. So I'm gonna prep these sort of, I think when I watched Jeff's video, they cut the tops out, um, and then he scooped them out with a spoon. I'm not gonna eat the peel because um, it's furry and disgusting. Um, so I'm not going to eat the peel, I'm just going to cut the tops off, cut them in half and then scoot them out with a spoon. Um, and yeah, so we'll see how that goes. So I've decided it's kind of cheating. Look, if you have a look there, it kind of scoops a little bit off the top if you cut like a rim around the outside. So what I'm going to do instead is just cut them all in half. So just to talk you guys through the actual rules for this, there's no specific way to eat the kiwi. Some people eat the uh, skin, I'm not going to. I think Jeff got seven kiwis and Stephanie got eight. And I think Brandon got four. Considering how much Jeff loves kiwis and all of that, I would be happy if I managed to at least got the same as Brandon, but I have absolutely no idea. God, there's a fucking load of kiwis. I honestly have absolutely no clue how this is gonna go. So as you guys can see, we have, well, I've got two bags of, is there six? Six in each one? Two bags of six kiwis just from uh, Tesco, because it was the only place. We actually went to Audi first and they didn't have any. Um, so as you guys can see, all the kiwis here. The rule is all you have to do is eat the flesh of the kiwi as many as you can in two minutes. So these are cut up into halves, so I'll probably only count the whole kiwi, but we'll see what, how, if, if I do badly, I'm, I might count half a kiwi. Two minutes on the timer. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh. How the fuck did they? Oh, it's got to be the peel. I'm not gonna count that. Um, shit. Okay, so I, I genuinely lost count. Um, so that's one, two, three, and a half. Three and a half um, kiwis. That's shit. The kiwis genuinely didn't taste too bad. I mean, I don't really like kiwis, right? Oh, this is so gross. But number one, I have no idea how, how Stephanie managed to eat the skin. I got one little bit about halfway through and it set me back about 30 seconds chewing it. It was disgusting. Well, I think, I think if you were just eating it normally, it wouldn't be so bad. 
but when you're trying to stuff your face with kiwi and you all of a sudden you get this nice soft chewy kiwi but then you have the tough skin it makes a big difference but so I didn't manage to, be, to beat Brandon didn't manage to meet there uh, to be Jeff or Stephanie um, but it was kind of fun so I'm, 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 I'm glad I uh, um, wasted money on 12 kiwis when I ate three but um, yeah, so that is uh, gonna end off, end this portion of the video, and end the video altogether. So I'm not, I, I'm not just gonna take full credit for this idea or anything like that. I will link Jeff videos, Brandon videos, and all of their channels. Everyone's like that uh, down in the description box, just because you know I can't take credit for their idea. So thank you, Jeff, for the idea, and thank, and check out Jeff's superfood video as well. That's fucking class. And check out the rest of his ever, everything. It's really, really good channel, really good informational content. So. Thank you guys for watching if you made it this far, something slightly different. Let me know whether you liked it if you, by leaving a like or if you don't like it by leaving a dislike. Your help and your feedback is very valuable to me. So let me know either way guys, if you want me to do more stuff like this or if you want me to do less stuff, then just, um, yeah, just let me know. So that is going to round off today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you made it this far, as always remember, no regrets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.